Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of Me Painting. Today we have a black canvas ready. And if you're wondering how to make your white canvas black, there's a video link in the description. And then also I put some liquid clear on top and there's also a video link in the description for that as well. All right, let's get some uh, paint on the old brush. We're gonna do a uh, bit of a Northern Lights picture, which I had a uh, quest for, so here we are, and uh, using the fan, fan brush, just using the fan brush, picking up a little bit of titanium white, titanium white. Okay, with some titanium white on the number three fan, let's uh, start putting in, just put in some dots where we want our colors to be, Got some there, maybe there's some here. So we're just putting in lines, but we'll uh, change that soon. And some here, so it goes around like that. A little bit more white and there. We're going to create like curtains, but we need to put in our white first. And you've noticed there's all these colors starting to happen. I uh, secretly put some color on, put in a little bit of uh, phthalo green here and phthalo blue. And then uh, when we add our white, all the colors start to show. Let's put some up here as well. It's a little bit of crimson up here. Okay. Just get some white there. Right then. And now using the a clean, dry, two-inch brush, we're just going to pull this, pull this up, pull it up, and then sort of stretch. Start stretching into the colour. Pull this up. If it's not providing it's not moving, really drag it. Really drag that colour. Get this as well. We can always add more paint. Knock off the excess paint on on the canvas. I mean on the leg. <laughs> Pull this up, go all the way up. Just going all the way up and down. And then you step back, have a look, and go, yeah, I need I want some more. I want more colour. So grab some more white. And then you can add more. as well. Just going straight up, straight up. Just pulling it, pulling the paint. I've been looking at a few pictures <laughs> of Northern Lights to see what it looks like. And it sort of stretches, the colour sort of stretches like this. And then we'll put a few trees in. But let's, uh, let's have a look. Let's, maybe that's brighter there. Maybe there's more light. A little bit more colour there. To the old two inch and let's pull this. Let's get some more colour. Stretch it. And it's uh, sliding over the liquid clear. Okay, let's have a look. 
Maybe there's a maybe I can do a bit more a bit more here. Let's add a little bit more of that white. Make that one a bit more stronger. Just pulling it up. find it's not dragging as much using it this way you can use it this way and really drag it out okay I'm gonna add a bit more light there and then we'll start working working into the uh, foreground a bit more there pull that let it slide Gives you an idea of how to do it. Now let's uh, use a fan brush. We'll start putting in some trees back here. So we're going to go into some of the uh, midnight black, midnight black, midnight black. Because of it's night time, so <laughs> everything's dark. And we'll put in some trees in here. Just a few trees and all I'm doing is get these little trees is I'm just touching pulling down touching pulling down and uh, you've seen this before <laughs> you know how to do these trees but if it's the first time with us then uh, now you know <laughs> and maybe this there's a few up here as well Okay. Now then, let's uh, let's just walk. We'll just clean this brush. Just cleaning my other fan brush using a little bit of paint thinner. A little bit of paint thinner. Just give it a wiggle in there. And use a paper towel. Just give it a wipe. And a bit of wipe. And then we're ready for it to be used again. So in this picture we'll have it we'll have it snowy we'll have it snowy let's get some of this cleaner white up here we'll just put a little bit on our brush just a little bit and let's say the back area is there so let's pull this down pull this down to there just pull in some color Using the brush to create the angles. Maybe we'll blend there. And let's get a bit more of the white. And maybe this one, this one. Let's pull this in front, like that. So we can get another plane. And leave some dark areas and then uh, let's get a bit more of that white let's make this a bit more obvious here make it a little more obvious that that's in front of that area and then this bit here we can keep that dark pulling out some of that black and leave that quite dark there and uh, again we can start Put in another layer. Another layer. Maybe there's a maybe there's a tree there. So let's put one in. Let's get all of the fan brush with the black on. Let's put in a tree. Maybe he's he's there. He lives there. And uh, so I'm loading the brush. Loading the brush both sides, both sides. Loads of paint, loads of paint. Don't get cheap on the old paint. 
I know when you uh, buy your tubes of paint, you get scared of using too much, but you know, as beginners, that's one of our downfalls, using not enough paint. <laughs> so we need to uh, remember, we want to be experts, so we use more. I know the uh, people at the paint shop, they'll be happy about it, but so are we when our pictures come out good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm loading my brush again, and I'm touching and I'm pushing up, touching and pushing up. These are the uppy trees. There's a few bits there. And you can always get the old liner out. A little bit of dip into some liquid clear and go into some of the black. Because uh, paint thinner and liquid clear have a violent reaction. It starts to bubble. And uh, so we use, we'll use liquid clear on this one. And I'll just put in a couple of little, little branches. You can put them in before doesn't really matter just to make it a little bit more detailed and then uh, let's go back into some white and then we'll pull some of this out this is our other layer it goes there maybe, maybe we'll pull some of this black out to give it a bit of a shadow there just pulling it out and then going lightly across okay let's have a look let's uh let's bring this down to about here maybe there's another layer maybe the, maybe the snow and it's coming down there and wiggling out maybe we've got a maybe there's a tree there as well so let's go back into our black, load our brush again, just as before. Loads of brush, loads of brush, <laughs> loads of paint. And uh, let's put in a tree, let's put one in here, about there. I'm just pulling it down, and then uh, let's put in a few little, let's get some liquid clear again, let's Make, let's put some little sticks, little branches on this one before. Here and there. And just wherever you want. Okay. There we go. You can spend time doing that and really put in some detail. And then we'll uh, again just touch in and pushing up. Touch in and pushing up, and we create our, our little branches wherever you like, however you want it. I think it looks quite good when the space is in between. So you can see this through the trees. Okay, covered up our branch there, so I'm going to bring that down <laughs> just so we can see it. Okay, let's get a bit more snow. Let's get a bit more snow and let's. Let's sort of clean that up. Again, I can always bring a bit of black in there if I want to, to add a shadow. And use this white just to soften it. Just softens it a little bit. And let's get some white, maybe. Let's, let's put a bit of paint in this area. level. Hmm. Looks like there should be a tree there. Maybe there's a... Yeah, let's put one in there. Bigger than that one. It's closer. Right there. <laughs> it's putting our dark already. Um, and let's 
put some branches on that. So I'm uh, going to go, go into our runny mixture of liquid clear and just the midnight black. Liquid clear and black. Let's go back up here. Let's put in more branches. Of course, you can put anything uh, in your foreground. You don't have to do trees. Maybe you want. Maybe you want someone skiing down here. <laughs> you could always do that if you like. Get yourself a reference picture. Drawing a skier. There we go. Let's put in a few more. Okay. Back to our black. Load in the brush. Both sides. Both sides. Let's uh, let's leave the top of that tree. Let's start a few branches there. Here. Here. Just pushing up. Just pushing up. And we can see through. Okay, maybe there's some there as well. However, okay, let's uh, bring the snow forward again. So I'm working in layers, working in layers, trying to create a bit of depth. So maybe, maybe, let's get some of this dark. Maybe this is in front there, in front of that one. So you can do that. Bringing in more and more layers, and then maybe 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 there's another level that comes in front of this level. Maybe there's one and um, using the white, maybe there's one here. I'm just pulling it out. And you can lightly bring that down. Get a bit more white and make that a bit more obvious. Okay, and then maybe there's a tree. Big one there. Big tree there. Okay, big tree. It's right up there. More pressure than the other ones. This is bigger. All the way to there. And you want to be doing uh, sound effects when you paint your big tree. Because <laughs> it helps. <laughs> helps me anyway. Let's just put in some black there. Maybe that's where the shadow is. We don't know. Alright, let's uh, go back into our mixture. Our lights and darks. I mean, I <laughs> lights and darks are uh, liquid clear and midnight black. Let's put in a few branches. What I was going to say, it's all a game of light and dark. Putting our light so our dark will show. Okay, I'm just putting in branches. Yeah, just putting in branches wherever I want. And you do them the way you want. Okay, maybe let's put in some. Let's get in our branches. Let's start at the top and just touching and pushing up. Touching and pushing up. Touching and pushing up. Wherever it is. And this is pushing everything back. Okay, and then we'll get our snow. Pull our snow down. Let's get a bit more white and just clean that up a little bit. Snow along there. 
Maybe. Maybe there's one there as well. Maybe there's some snow and it's there. Another level there. Maybe we've got another tree. Maybe this tree. Maybe this tree blew over. Maybe it's just here. We've only got that part of it. Let's pull that out. Let's get some of that snow. You see the paint is no longer paint, it's snow. <laughs> good way to think of it okay let's <coughs> get a bit of that snow and just put that over there and then what I'll do is I can put in a few little maybe the just blew over but there's still some growth in this bit. Maybe it's still hanging in there. Just put a little bit on there. Touch, push up. Just push up. Maybe there's a bit there as well. Okay, and we can uh, add little highlights to snow areas if we want to. Just using no pressure, just dragging some snow out so we can get like these thicker areas. Just drag it out. Okay. Here and there. Okay, that'll do. Let's put in a. Uh, let's put in a little signature. This uh, should give you an idea of how to do sort of a northern light scene. Like I say, you can do whatever you like in the foreground. I just wanted to put a few trees in today. In the corner, I'll just put in a little JB. And a little bird for the masters. Hey, okay. thanks very much for watching this painting and uh, hope you give this one a try. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers. <laughs>